he is my strength. Let's go back to June. It was supposed to be a regular night for Diane and her three children. Yeah, they had picked up a pizza after a basketball game and then made a stop at a local gas station. In an instant, everything changed. Now to our other top story. A 13-year-old boy shot at a BP gas station on Detroit's west side last night. His name is Demarion Johnson. He is known by his family as D-Man. And family says he is showing some signs of improvement, but he's still listed in critical condition and he did suffer brain damage. Now, seven months later, Diane reached out to our own Hank Winchester with a major roadblock in her son's recovery. And I know this really touched you. It, it certainly did. I mean, this is an incredible family, an incredible story, and we knew we needed to help. Uh, you know, as we were talking about, 13-year-old Damarian Johnson, you see him right here behind me. He's the victim of a random act of violence, shot in the head in just an instant. Everything changed for this young boy, for his mother, for his siblings. He needed to go to therapy. He needed to go to the doctor. He had to rely on medical transportation that unfortunately was really unreliable. So we knew what we needed to do. He's so strong. I'm super proud of him. Damarian Johnson is just like any other teenager. He loves football. He does well in school. He a good big brother. He a good friend. He is a good person, period. But last June, tragedy struck. And I knew something was wrong because it was taking him too long to come back out the store. We stopped at a gas station on the way home uh, from getting pizza. Damarian went in to get a pop and somebody came in shooting. Damarian, just 13 at the time, ran in for a pop while his mom, Diane, was in the car with her two younger children. He was shot in the head in a random act of violence. Hey, wake up. Since then, he's had five brain surgeries, showing progression every day. But there's a critical problem. Damaria needs to be driven to and from appointments in a medically safe van. When he's having a muscle spasms, his legs go out really straight, his arm go up, and sometimes his neck goes to the side. And medical transportation companies have just become unreliable. Sometimes they really late, sometimes they don't show up at all. We've missed so many appointments. He needs this therapy. He, every appointment that he has is a reason for. So she contacted Local 4 and helped me Hank. After calling around, we found a company excited and capable to help. We all came in as a group. All the top managers of the company sat down to get our normal Tuesday meeting started. And an email came across from my CFO and said, you guys, we need to do something about this. A crew from Freedom Motors USA drove from Battle Creek to Southfield to deliver this customized van. A van not just for Damarian, but also for his entire family. Here is your new van. Oh my God! What do you think? Oh my God! You want to go inside? Yes! <laughs> this is all for you. Oh family. my God. Oh my God, who do I hug? Everybody. You yes. hug everybody. Thank Today. you. No problem. Thank you so <laughs> much. It's so much. What we really strive to do is change people's lives. Um, we're going to develop a vehicle for someone that's in need of transportation when they're confined to a wheelchair, whether that's driving the vehicle, being transported in the vehicle, and just doing the day-to-day -day things that really gives you your freedom to do what you want to do in the day. This is perfect, perfect. I'm so happy. This will work for you and the family. Definitely, okay. it definitely will. Just, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> This tragedy has obviously affected your entire family yes, in every way. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. So this is good for all of us. <laughs> Told you this was gonna be a tearjerker, right? Yeah. We want to say a big thank you to our friends at Freedom Motors USA for making this happen. A couple more thank yous. We appreciate our assignment editor Corey McIsaac, who has kept in touch with Diane since the shooting happened and told us about Diane's need for help. And to our meteorologist, Paul Gross, and the Detroit Goodfellows, take a look when we mentioned what happened to Diane and to her family. Paul got his team together to get clothes and toys and books for all of Diane's children, so big thanks to Paul and to the Goodfellows.
And a special thank you to our Help Me Hank producer, Kelly Casuda, because oh. as you both know, yeah. Kelly has a huge Biggest heart. heart of, yeah. And she's the one who <laughs> crafted that email that went to Freedom Motors. That and caught their attention. Caught their attention. And she just worked diligently to get this van for this family. And it really was just a great moment to see them drive away. Yeah, and be able to yeah. be able to get to these appointments. Which is really the key. That's I mean, he is. can't get better unless he can get to therapy and to the doctor, and, and the medical van was just late all the time. It's so. easy to get down, and you just need a small victory like that to, yeah. to right. get it going in the right direction. Great story. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, good job by the team.